God damn, finally I get my tier 3 and I see tier 5 in the game. <laughs> well, that is awesome. That is awesome. More action, more experience. Higher tier tanks. But uh, welcome back to Armored Warfare. As you can see, today we start off in tier 3 tank and this is M60 pattern. Awesome, awesome tank. Really, really nice looking tank. And uh, the best thing about higher tier tanks is the firing effect. That boom, that smoke. Wow. Check this out. And hear this out. Pretty nice sound. Let me try to show the smoke as well after you fire. Did you see that? Well, this is actually a pretty bad map to show all the smoke action and uh, to show firing action. Ooh, thank you. That was close. Stupid but close. On uh, that, I don't know, that rainy map, it looks so beautiful. Maybe I'm going to be able to show you that as well later. But LAV300. This is auto loading gun. And I think it is going to be pretty epic. Ricochet no, no effect because I did hit pretty much the strongest part of the armor which is turret or the strongest part of the tank which is turret god damn tracked or just hit okay luckily our cold steel in mx 10p survived and where is t64 tier 4 tank I know you want to do it. What? Identified target. Oh, Ooh, that was penetration. Tier 4 is down to 500 hit points. Which is awesome. Ah. Ricochet. I don't want to reveal much of my tank. Should I use HG and go for module damage? Maybe I can damage Creo or something. Don't go! <laughs> Why? Jesus Christ. Maybe he wanted to die. I don't know. Feels like it. But now I have some extra cover. I can hide my lower plate. Identify. Tank. Nice. I like that trade. So right now we can trade pretty much we can get three shot out of it. Boom. Ziggy 1982. One more shot. Boom. Done. Tier 4 destroyed. Where did he pen me? Okay, we can't see holds right now. Because guys, this is early access. It is not even closed beta or open beta or whatever. This is early access. And by the way, I was just amazed when I found this out. Take a look at the shops. They even rendered the shop items inside. Wow. Like, no words. Seriously. Hello. <laughs> We're hit. Bloody hell. I took in a bit too much unnecessary damage. Boom. Miss, please. Miss. Ah! He was able to take the shot before going down. Bastard. But... Good shot, I guess. And guess what? My phone. Okay, on mute, T62A, I wanted to say T62A, almost. Two one-shot kills. And seems like we are not going to get that. Yeah. Those guys are going to die before we are going to be there. So, I don't know, let's press R three times and uh, let's autopilot ourselves to the 
middle of the map or east side of the map or not now the M109 is this artillery icon I believe it is so I guess this guy is somewhere over here or maybe somewhere over here because this position was actually pretty decent for artillery Sheridan M109 do you have a vision? Sheridan, come on! Come out, come out, wherever you are. So this is that T-49 in Armored Warfare, right? <laughs> I believe I've seen that guy before. Turpish looking tank. T-69 looking tank. And yes, M109 was artillery. Are we going to be able to get that? Nope. Sadly. Let's let's make it rain. Ah simply can't get enough. And victory. So let's see what did we get and I believe we can upgrade something as well on our M60. See you there. Although we didn't deal a lot of damage, as you can see, we had two kills and two assists, so... Yeah, second by experience in our team. First guy, Sheridan, wow, what a game! Four kills, 3.5k damage, 199 reputation. Did I say experience again? Shame on me. Now, Leopard 1 on the enemy side, I believe this is that Leopard 1 who was up there on the hill, like early up there in the, on the hill, 9 spotting, it has to be that guy. But uh, yeah, so this was the game. But yeah guys, this is our newest tank, M60 Patton, in the garage. Come on, it is awesome. It even has its own TV. You can distract enemies by playing some porn, maybe. It helps. Whatever helps, right? Whatever helps to win the fight. To win the war, you can play some war to distract enemies, so it's awesome, it's awesome work. But I believe in my previous episode I said that in this episode, in my next episode, I'm going to talk about Creos as well. So I have learned a little bit about Creos, and I actually like it a lot, how they managed to do this system. So basically you have commanders and you have crew members, they are two different things. Two different skill sets, uh, two different, uh, I don't know, crew things. <laughs> but your commander is epic. It can be on your LAV. Actually, this girl, Sabrina Washington, is from my LAV. And you can see that I can play with my Sabrina Washington on LAV and on M60 Baton at the same time. Let's say I'm going to play with my LAV 150 right now. I'm going to die or I'm going to be destroyed. I go back to garage, my LF 150 is still in the battle. I can go jump into my M60 pattern with Sabrina Washington. It is super awesome and I like that system a lot. Because I believe this is from from my... Yeah, you can't even see that. Reload time reduced, vision range increased, module... Okay! This, we learn something new every day, I didn't know that. Every commander has some kind of special passive ability, like it comes with one, kind, one of a kind special ability. Aim speed improved by 10, vision range in, increased by 10, and over here reload time reduced by 10. I believe it is percent or something. So it is really awesome, but right now I'm playing with Sabrina just to prove the point that you can play with Sabrina uh, on your M60 button and uh, as you can see, once again, when I'm going into my LAV, this girl is still here. So there is that, but your crew members, you can't switch your crew members. At least I don't know how you can do that. The only thing you can do is you can change the picture, you can change the person, you can change the name, and you can add some skills, but more about that in a second. Uh, but your crew stays with this tank. As far as I know, you can't switch your crew from one tank to another. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is why this series is called Let's Learn Together. 
but uh, so far this is how I think it works and uh, we have let's see this is driver yes driver and we have special set of kills over here for driver smooth ride uh, accuracy while moving improved ramming damage improved top speed increased hull turbo speed increased <coughs> but I believe uh, top speed Alterverse is actually really important as well, but well, let's do something. Let's not waste too much time over here Now our uh, gunner uh, skills are sure start maximum accuracy improved by 10% So your maximum aiming circle is 10% uh, reduced. This is how I understand the retro speed aim speed and minimum accuracy improved by 10% so you could be even more accurate <coughs> uh, so I believe Either, 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 either turret was well, actually, M60 better hands pretty slow turret, so let's go for that. Why the hell not? Because right now, people in LAVs can circle me, and this is loader, loader reload speed 1.6. So, I believe this is level 2, that's why it is 1.6. Level 1 crew is with 1.3 coefficient. Reload time reduced minus 9, ammo swamp and module damage. It reload time for sure. So crew system, I like it. And I have to say I like it a lot. But before we jump into next game, let's see if we can upgrade something. Engine doesn't give us much. Yeah. So rangefinder it is. Improves overall accuracy by 10. I take it. And let's buy that as well. 5200. Ooh, they're expensive. Improve the overall accuracy by 10%. Once again. Why not? I have best AP ammunition. Uh, should I go for heat as well? Heat is pretty slow. You can see speed 750 meters per second. 800 is 500 meters per second, but over here 1200 so you can be pretty fast and pretty accurate You don't have to lead as much and it is hard to dodge shells like this, but uh, Well, I don't need that I believe after Gunner periscope I can go for them as well right now. I don't need more So let's show some board to our enemies and let's jump into the battle Driver, crank it. Affirmative. Gunner, scan for targets. Affirmative. Floater, ready up. Up. Driver, move out. Wait a minute. Floater, ready up. Up. <laughs> Something fishy is going on, guys. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> but, oh damn. Oh damn. Luckily, we got coast fields. I love this map. I love the rain action. Just just look at the graphics. Just look at the graphics. Wet road. Love it. And my favorite thing on this map is this. <laughs> can't get enough. Like, exactly like he in the Gandhi store. I simply can't get enough. Uh, it is really... I can say, sorry, sorry, sorry. I can say pretty much the best matchmaking you can have for this tank. Because look at the matchmaking. I am the only tier 3 tank in the game. So, how should I play this game? Of course, as aggressively as I can. Now, one tier 3 is up tier. And the other one is down here. Okay. And this guy is running away, so my only problem is going to be catching them. Because they don't want to be killed by me, seems like it. But they are okay getting killed by others. Oh, this is going to be one long range shot. And hit. I like it. I actually would like to get destroyed now, so I can show you the commander system as well. What? <laughs> Someone is scratching my back? Who are you? 
M113 or a Levy, doesn't matter. Same damage from both guys. Let me give them some damage. What do you think, guys? Yeah, take it. Take some damage. We are hit. Sad, there is one scorpion as well, it seems like it. I feel like this is unfair, so I'm giving Jim a chance. Oh, this guy's shooting through the through the broken uh, house. That is smart. Let me see if I can hit you as well. Nope. No hit, or maybe it was a hit. I don't know. What? Behind me? Who was behind me? So, you tear? Nope, not anymore. Now, behind me, all dead. You got to be getting me. Alright. Okay, let's just press R and let's just back up. They have locked on. <laughs> Missed. Shooting HE. Oh, maybe. I would like to see if there is some kind of damage taken stat as well. Take that. Damage fuel tanks. So I believe I made this fight a little bit more fair, but uh, you got to be kidding me, guys! <laughs> yeah. Now this guy actually can penetrate me. And I have M103 or M113 behind me as well. Okay, this guy can't penetrate me. One more hit needed. <laughs> I have time to chat as well. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, this is just... <laughs> oh, pirate, welcome. This, this was just hilarious. Oh, one epic metal? What is that? I don't know, but do we have damage taken somewhere over here? Nope, but three tanks destroyed. Now, can you imagine how many kills we had a chance to take? Or how much damage we would have done if we would have played correctly? Not stayed out in the open, showing my side. <laughs> but it is early access. It is... We're here to have fun, right? Now, what I'm going to do with all the damage? What I'm going to do with all the kills? if we can't have fun, right? So, awesome times, awesome times. This was M60 Patton with DV, and I hope you enjoyed, guys. <laughs> At least I did that previous game. And shout out to Pirate. I hope to see you in here next time as well. Take care and bye.